All right, we are all loaded up. This is my girlfriend, Sarah. Hello. We are in the Everglades. We're about to paddle out and have a big adventure. I am at camp and catch and cook uh, all that we can. Have some high adventure for four nights. We were hoping for five nights, but it takes a lot. As you can see, the kayaks are loaded out. We got some of these pedal kayaks we rented, and uh, I think we're ready to go. It took a long time to get here, but uh, it's time for some adventure. Let's do this. I gotta figure out how to get my rudder down. Oh, forward on these things is locked in, it looks like. Nothing like getting it figured out on the go. How you feeling? My goals are, I'm pretty excited about this, shark, fish to eat, crab, we're hoping for a lobster, but we hear that uh, this is the wrong kind of place to dive for lobster. It's pretty murky, you can't see anything. So, yeehaw. Yeah, I'm getting splashed too, but not much. It's, it's a little bit, but woohoo! High adventure. They did recommend that uh, we don't do this as uh, we went to rent these. They're like, yeah, I don't know about this. Getting a wee bit choppy. -a. Yeehaw! Oh, we forgot to say grace before we left. It's not too late, Lord. God, keep us safe. The big shark fin. I think it's a shark. Oh, that's definitely a shark. Where? It's a dolphin. It's a shark doing what dolphins do, going up and down, porpoising. Here, let's go over. You can dangle your fingers in the water and we'll see if he comes out. <laughs> Getting hot. Um, or is it not really troll? Oh, we could troll through here, yeah. We should troll, yeah, for sure. Fish on? Oh, it's big, Zach. Yeah. Yeah, it's a mackerel. Sarah's already got a fish on. I knew I shouldn't have given her the good lure. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice going. Oh my goodness, it's got huge teeth. Zach, Zach it's got giant teeth. You help? Have Beautiful. a mackerel for dinner? Yeah, might as well. That's some great bait. Even Greg doesn't catch a fish this quick when we go out on adventures. <laughs> Not even. There it is, the open ocean. We've made it to the ocean side. Hopefully it's not too choppy. I lost it. Oh, oh no, it's still there. It's little. Oh no, maybe. That's a trout. Throw it back? Uh, let me check the regs. Uh, spotted trout, 15. Yeah, throw them back. Oh, Sarah's slaying him. I want a fish. Where's my fish? Fish Slayer 3000 here. I shouldn't. Should've... I took a good person with me here. It's going to catch us all the food. Man, if only that trout was big enough. That's my dream fish, too. You caught my dream fish. That's my bucket list fish of this trip. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. All right. We screwed up coming out of the mangroves. We went the wrong way. We came out by Jewel Key, not by Tiger. We left Everglade City at four o'clock to go with the outgoing tide because you gotta go with the tides, otherwise you're gonna get stuck in the islands and it'll triple your paddle time. Unfortunately, the wind blew us off track. We were gonna head for Tiger Key and I was hoping that once we were in the mangroves and out of the wind, I could still get us to Tiger Key, but there really wasn't an easy way to do that when you're trying to snake your way through these islands, which means we're gonna have twice the amount of paddling to get outside the park on day two. And so that put us now five miles from where we're supposed to camp tonight, which normally would be like, whatever, who cares? But the parks, we had to pick this campsite. So hopefully, but they did say, if you can't make it to your destination, you know, go ahead and use one of the other spots. But they were like, but don't do that. But, but if you have to go ahead, but don't do that. So jewel key straight ahead, make camp. Hopefully we don't get in trouble. <laughs> Ooh, 
<laughs> oh, I caught me a piece of coral. Nice, nice piece of coral right there. Dang it. No luck so far. Let's go get set up. And then we can try fishing from shore. Maybe we can catch a shark. We got the bait now since Sarah caught it. And too bad that trout was too small. But yeehaw. Woo! Riding the surf in. There we go. It's pretty sharp here, be careful. It's all sharp coral. Where'd the mackerel go? I have no idea. We, it was right here. I walked away for a second. There's little, little paw prints here. I think. <laughs> okay, there is wildlife out here. But I mean, it was two seconds. I was just still bringing stuff over. I was gonna put that on the line for a shark. Oh well. I guess. <laughs> So much for not feeding the wildlife. I guess we're having steak tonight. And the coconut that we brought with us. Feels a little damp, but it feels really damp the further I get in. This stuff on the outside edges, it's got a little bit of a quirky feel to it. No lighty lighty. This stuff comes from the palm, this will light. We grabbed some of this this morning on our way here when we grabbed the coconut and the other things. Let's see if we can't spark it up with the fire starter necklace here from Mozu. There we go. Goes quick though. Let me get some of this going. Just smolders and doesn't want to light. So now I'm gonna take my last bit of the palm furry stuff, put it on top. cool the coconut didn't want to light but it uh, it like kept the fire once it got lit from the other stuff so like that one tree the palm tree is like one complete fire starting setup you got your really sparky stuff up underneath if it's raining it's if it's wet you got a coconut if it's really dry but you can also carry fire with a coconut by getting that quirky stuff lit it doesn't flame up but yeah, I've seen in uh, other people do in books that so they close up two pieces of the two halves of the coconut and leave coal smoldering in there. You can open it up, wave it around, close it back up, and you can transport fire in a in the husk. Oh, what's for dinner? A big bag of meat? Mm, yes.
got some bone left. Sarah's gonna see if she can catch a crab with it. There you go. All right, now that the potatoes are crisped up, I threw the rest of the stuff in. Pink Himalayan salt. Got a little basil in there. I'm just gonna throw it in whole. And cover it. You got a shell? I've never seen them with the insides. Oh, they're still alive? Yeah. You just caught them? They were just down here, hanging out. Just hanging out, huh? Yeah. All right, well, I'll leave you to your fun. All right, let's check on our food. Oh, oh that smells so good. Make sure it's edible. Mm. Yep, that's edible. The sand adds a whole other level of difficulty, so that's kind of why I went with the whole stew frying everything up in one pan so sand wasn't blowing into it. It's pretty windy out here, maybe next campsite or something like that, or in the morning it'll be calm. You do things a little bit differently. I was thinking about putting it on the fire, but I figured like any time I took a step, I'd kick sand onto the steak and it'd be grilling and burning with the, uh, so. Yeehaw. The mighty hunter returns. Did you get anything? No. No? no. Nothing? No, but it was fun though. I was thinking maybe the outside edge is maybe not as protected since there's no coral reef between us and stuff. I don't see any like, like splashing over. So maybe they're, maybe the other side. Well, dinner is ready. Here you go. How'd I do? It's good. It's good. Yeah. Lord, thank you for this food that we made it to our destination or a destination. And uh, bless this food. Keep us safe in Jesus' name. Amen. So, a lot of good flavors. Mm. Steak's really juicy. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy just not having sand in it. Oh, a little bit of sand. <laughs> we have to get used to sand for the yeah. next three days. Is that really a thing? Oh yeah, we're gonna be sleeping in it and it's gonna be everywhere our food. <laughs> I haven't really done any sandy adventures. You've done more sandy. Sarah's done more sandy adventures than I ever have. I'm always up in the north. Mm. And then there's never any sand. Mm. <laughs> Gravel, dirt, I know, I always trees. tend to stick to the ocean. Mm. I'm all tucked in. Good night. Good night, Sarah. Good night, Zach. <laughs> all right, not a bad first day. Uh, new adventure, new everything for me in a lot of ways. You know, the the pedal kayaks, the hot weather, the Florida, you know, Hawaii. We were pretty set up, and this is um, a little more, actually, a little bit more adventurous in a lot of ways. You know, paddling out on our own. Uh, Sarah lived down here when she was younger for a little while and knows a lot about, well, she knows a lot about a lot of things. That's what's kind of cool about her. And uh, we're having a lot of fun. We stayed up by the fire for a bit and watched the shooting stars. And, and now we're going to get some sleep so we can get on some high adventure tomorrow morning. I still can't believe that something stole our fish. Like, just gone. So fast. So, note to yourself there, uh, Hide your food if you want to keep it. <laughs> so that's it for me for now. I will see you guys in the morning.
good morning. It's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. The sounds of the waves are lapping. I heard a zipper. I think Sarah already, she's already up. What a beautiful day. Oh, look at the view. Look at the view. <laughs> See, if I keep it clean. Well, it's fairly clean. And it's got toilet paper. Wow. All the amenities. Well, we'll be off the grid later. We'll have to take care of ourselves when it comes to that kind of stuff. Look at all the coral. And little pieces of coral and stuff. There's a little sign for my little offenders. Some little raccoon prints. They've been having a heyday all night long, probably trying to get in and get the food that we got stored in the compartments. Good morning. It's just so wild, all the gnarly trees over there and everything. And this video is brought to you by EcoFlow, the power pack that powers my adventures and can power yours too. We've been using EcoFlow for a long time now, whether it's building a glamper camper and using it to glamp out in the wild. So we have a powered, quiet experience instead of those annoying generators that, well, just ruin the whole thing for you. Or whether you're just up to camp and you're off grid and you need some power to fix that outhouse, EcoFlow's got you covered. But today they sent me something new I'd like to introduce you to, the Delta Pro. And the Smart Extra Battery Pro. When these two things are hooked together, I have a power pack system that gives me 7.2 kilowatt hours of fun time. So whether it's using these to build really cool things for our videos or hooking it into the grid of my house and powering the house when we have a power outage, no more snow days, guys. We can keep making videos for you. Wait, what? No more snow days? But don't worry, John, I actually have better plans than just leaving those sitting around the house waiting for a snow day. I wanna take these with me to Hawaii and build an off-grid homestead, a little uh, a home away from home there, a little container house. And these are exactly what I need. But Hawaii is a huge project. Before I even get to that, I have another use for these. We are gonna do the tote float 2.0. And this time I wanna do it with a underwater chamber, a submarine or underwater bunker. And I think this is gonna be perfect for helping us to build this on location because this is gonna be a little bit bigger. And when it comes to monitoring your powers, these things have a beautiful little LCD screen with a display on the outside telling you where you're at and how much power you're consuming with whatever you're using. Or you can download their very easy to use app, connect any new EcoFlow device that you have to it. You can actually have all of your devices on here and you're able to change and monitor all your systems right there. So check out EcoFlow linked in the description below and let's get on with today's video. You got the dishes, Yo, you're doing the dishes, I'll make coffee, you better believe it. Teamwork makes the dream work, Yeehaw. Ha <laughs> ha, they got starters on them. Sand, it gets everywhere. Guess I'm making breakfast sandwiches. With just a touch of beet sand. Basil, green onion, eggies, mayonnaise, butter, cheese, bacon. Coffee. So we brought 10 gallons of water for four days, thinking that we'd splurge a little bit and wash with some. Oh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and everything has sand on it. Coffee. Fowler's own. Probably blackout coffee. I feel like as breezy as it is, this jet boil thing is amazing. The uh, the old Coleman's 
which take up tons of space, and this fits together with your pots and pan set up. They, uh, they would have blown out several times by now. I'd have already been frustrated. Like, I can't keep a thing going with the wind gusting around it. down the shield and boom, the coffee started to boil. <laughs> Breakfast is served, my dear. All right. Uh, this is just the life, huh? It's, uh, Lord, thank you for this day. Help us to make it to where we're going safely. In Jesus' name, amen. Yep. Put a random um, barbecue rub seasoning on it. Just something I saw at the bait store before we left and I want to give it a try. That's pretty good. I don't think I've ever had a barbecue seasoning rub. That's neat. How'd I do? Sand in the sandwich? No, it was good. No sand? No. I didn't have any sand in mine. Already I accomplished my first goal, a no sand sandwich. I'm happy. I could die happy now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Still too much to do. <sighs> By wisdom the Lord laid the earth foundations. By understanding he set the heavens in its place. The mangroves are how all these little islands form. The mangroves start growing and then they trap all the shells and sand. You're not allowed to pick anything or take anything from the national park here, but the whole island's covered in this purslane. And if it was outside the borders of the national park, you could eat all of that. One of my favorite things to do is treasure hunt. You're not supposed to take anything, but I collected this hawk feather, which I'll leave here. It's a pretty shell. And this is how shells grow in these long spirals. Those are all little casings of baby shells. Last night when we were trying to fall asleep, we kept hearing this banging sound like raccoons were trying to break shells open. So we searched around and we found out that they're having big nighttime feasts on conch shells. All right, almost all loaded up again. A little better than yesterday, we managed to pull it off. 
I'm gonna be heading out. It's just as windy and choppy as it was yesterday. So since they weigh so much, I think we're just gonna wait for the tide to come in to float us. <laughs> yeah. Sarah's putting on the old 70 proof uh, sunscreen. Us gingers, I don't burn nearly as much. She's more ginger than I am. So we gotta, you know, the more, more soul you actually have, the less you burn, burn in the sun. Is that how it goes? I'm getting dirty luck. <laughs> We be I better get back to work. Sarah's beat me. She's already in, pedaling away. All right, I changed up lures. I got a pink jig, jig head with a little furry thing, kind of a good trout thing. Ah, oh, bite. No fish. Oh, I got a bite. Fish on. You do too? Both. Woo! All right. What is that? No. Definitely not a barracuda that doesn't have any teeth. Oh, hooked it good. Beautiful little fish. Let's see. I don't recognize that. Oops, I let it go. Well, it's better to let it go than uh, keep something you're not supposed to. Unregulated ladyfish. We could have kept that for bait. Bummer. I like to always let the first fish go anyways. That's what I always tell myself when I accidentally let the first one go. But I always, I kind of always do let the first one go. So, now we know. You got a fish or you hooked again on the back of your boat? Is that what it is? No, I pulled it in and then I got your, again. Your rudder biting? It looks like you got a good bite on that rudder. There. You trying something different? We're gonna try the shrimp. Yeah. All right. Rigged back up. Little shrimp guy. He will hopefully do the trick because we're going to head up into the islands a little bit and uh, till we come out of the park completely. Yesterday's screw up set us back about five miles. So now from Jewel Key, we're going to paddle our way up the coast, heading just inside the islands as much as possible because it's pretty choppy in the open seas. But these Hobie kayaks are doing pretty good. It says Tiger Key, where we were supposed to be last night, is still three miles away. So we've done about two miles this morning while we're messing around and fishing a little bit. Tucked ourselves into the mangrove, or at least I did. I don't know where Sarah is. It's coming back. It's coming back. A little beef jerky break. Cattleman's cut. They sent me a bunch of this recently, and uh, it's pretty good. This one's a double smoked. I don't know if I tried double smoked yet. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. Just what the doctor ordered. This is just right. Like, I don't want anything too much right now. Mm. If I had a pineapple juice, I'd be completely happy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Are there any? I think we have two left, three left. Oh. Uh... Mmm. Oh, that's refreshing. Mm. I just like want to put it on my forehead. It's like, mm. it's so, so warm out. All right, that was enough of a break. And get ourselves out of the bushes. Paddling out of the mangroves. Oh, this is great. I want one of these for bass fishing at home. 
it feels so good. Like working out, I've been, since the new year, working out a lot more, trying to, you know, be healthier and spend less time in the office, trusting the guys in the office with more stuff so that I can uh, get out and have adventures and make better videos for you guys. I'm gonna tie back on my pink one from earlier. Due to the shape of it, it tends to get less weeds on it. They come off of it, they don't stick onto it like the last one where I'd actually have to clear it fairly often. There we go. Tied back on. All right, straight ahead is Tiger Key and the end of the park beyond that. So now we got to find ourselves somewhere beyond the end of the park where we want to be. There's some tight trails in and out of the mangroves. We're thinking that that would be a good spot to fish and park ourselves for two days if we could onto one of the beaches outside of the park. Sarah's got a fish on. Eat it. Oh, it's a, like a saltwater catfish. That is wild. Oh man, that, that is one slimy fish. That slime is coming out on the line. All right, here we go again. One shark bait in the bag. We gotta get to our destination. It's getting tiresome. It's a lot of pat pedal pedaling. Fish on. What we got? What we got? Feels like a good fish. All right. Come on, don't lose it, don't lose it. Oh, big waves. Yikes. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is what we wanted. All right. <laughs> Creble, Creble Jack. Ow. Wow, pokey. Oh, blood everywhere. <clears throat> there we go. Hopefully there's no sharks too close by. I just got all kinds of blood everywhere. After five hours of pedal paddling and some pretty heavy seas at times when you're on the outside edges, we made our way outside of the park and decided that's our destination. Might be the, a good spot. Cool. Sarah says she found some, see some coconut that have washed up. Bait fish jumping all over the place. There's still plenty of water in them. There's still water in them? All right, we might have found home. We gotta explore a little bit. I would like it to be home. I am beat. What do you think? So fried. Like that buns of steel workout. I, I feel like I just did that for a month straight. Like right now, it's like, hey, hard as a rock. Oh, look at the little sandpapers. I didn't see them until they started moving. Is that a separate bit of water up in there? Like a, well, actually, no, we're on a separate little point, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, look at the coral. That's cool. A big old horseshoe crab lid. <laughs> and a little cricket hidden underneath there. Ah! Home? Home sweet home.
poked my finger on that stupid catfish thing and we looked it up. So now it says that it's a venomous spine and I, I went and grabbed on the back of the chair and was moving stuff around. It was in the back of here and it went like, and the chair went like that and I jabbed myself with it. We'll see if I lose my finger. Way to turn an otherwise great evening into something bad if it doesn't go well. Sarah's giggling up there on the shore. We got our jack. We're gonna put it on a uh, shark hook and put it out there and then run it in. We came in about an hour ago and we uh, had ourselves a nice little pineapple coconut mix. Gotta get rigged up. 80 pound test on here. All right, we got our small circle hook, which is required for shark fishing. And some heavy duty leader. I'm gonna run through the eye of a pretty heavy number six sinker. All right, we got our fish. I'm just gonna bob him in half. It's only been an hour and a half or so, so he's pretty darn fresh. I think, I think they'll be pretty happy with that. Whatever shark is out here, they'll want this. The back here, I want to leave a lot of hook exposed so it gets him. Back out for a sec and try out the crab chappy. Maybe I'll just try and fish for a minute. See if I can't catch us something for dinner. Windy. On. Little guy. Oh, that was one of those fish from earlier. Probably everybody out here considers this to be bait fish, but I mean, they're good and long. I mean, that's a beautiful little fillet on that. I think we can have some fun with that. See if I can catch a couple more. Oh, there's another one. Fighting hard. Oh no. It's another one of those catfish things. Another one of these guys, which we don't want. So. All right, so I got a little fire going ready. As Greg always says, the best fire starter is lighter. Here's some more crab bait right here. All right, we got our fish, got a couple of brats, some taters, plantain. Let's see what we can do with all that. Everything gets so sandy.
we got some little guests for dinner. Hello. Oh, he's gone. They came and grabbed the, uh, I threw the plantain uh, peel right there. Took off with it. There must be like 50 or 60 of them on this one little thing. There's a heavy population. The ground is just covered with tracks. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for our little friends in the woods. Uh, bless this night's sleep and uh, help us to stay safe and keep getting on more adventure. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Fried with garlic and butter. <laughs> That's yeah, kind of like unique, soaking huh? Soaking up all the flavors. Mmm. Mmm. All right, how about today's catch? I can't see. Oh my goodness! Right on top. Yep. That plant, yeah, that plantain is amazing. Mm -hmm. A couple pin bones. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep chewing. Oh, no. the more you the more you throw it over the rack. I was gonna choke on that. The more you throw it over the more they're. It was so delicious, but I was gonna. Mm. <laughs> Between the sand and the bow. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had gotten more now. That's a bite. Yeah. Mm. Hey, simmer down back there. I'm trying to enjoy a quiet evening. We're gonna have to wash up good before bed or they're gonna come and lick our I chin. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are like, you're not in the state park anymore. We're coming to get you. Must be like 30 of them back there. No, well, they're not that close. Yeah, they're all back. I mean, still 20 feet. All right, I am in for the night. That was such a long paddle over here. I am so fried. I, uh, I mean, it was good. It felt really good, but to not be able to shower at the end, I got sand in places I don't even know exist. But it was a good evening after getting here, sitting around, good company. Good night, Sarah. So, uh, we, we had fun. Uh, I look forward to a good night's rest. I really need it. If we're going to get on some of this fish tomorrow and get some bigger fish, catch my shark. Yes, i got to catch my shark. See you in the morning. So I found raccoon bones, I'm pretty sure. And it looks like the raccoons eat fishy crab.
was worth it. Oh, that was beautiful. I think this time we're gonna head up and into the mangroves and see what we can catch up in there. Maybe catch a, use a sabiki to catch some more bait fish, drop some crab traps, sit on those for a minute, see if we can't pluck up some crabs. This is gonna be a good day. Beautiful day for adventure. Let's see if I can catch a fish or drink my coffee. My butt's getting wet. We gotta scoot back a little bit. Yep. Not a throwback, must keep. Oh, it's a weird fish. It's got like a, it's got a suction cup thing here. It's one of those ones that like suction cups themselves to uh, like sharks and things. So check that out. Kind of crazy looking. Oh, he's all tangled. And it's a, uh, I don't know if he can suck in through. Like his, maybe that's like, so he's got his gills here, but he also has like a gill feeling there, so I think he can use that to suck onto the side of a something. But that'll be a good uh, crab bait. That'll work. Crazy fish. All right, Sarah made me a yummy lunch. We got uh, mango, steak, carrots, supposedly some ghost pepper in here. And I um, did an avocado just before she turned. Mmm, this looks good. Mmm. Mmm. You nailed it, hon. That flavor and that steak. Mm. This is amazing. Oh, thank you, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Mmm. Oh. And thank you, Lord. Please bless us with a fish. One of our water jugs sprung a leak and we lost a gallon or two today. Not cool. Our little offender. You got this? Yeah. For a I second. Got it. What are you doing? Hey. Hey, nobody invited you for di- Get off the pot. Get off of there. 
Let's go, Mon. You're very cute, but get. Get. All right, hung this one in the tree now, but even this one has a leak up here at the top. And uh, five gallons, looks like we're down to three. I'm gonna try and dig a gypsy well. Probably too salty here, even if this does work. Got water. It probably is fairly salty, but for the short term, in an emergency situation, boiled, have a little drink of water, help you get back to civilization. This may be what we have to resort to before we leave is boil some and put it into a thing. Heat is playing a toll on me, but it uh, doesn't smell salty. But I, I mean, at this point, everything smells so salty, I don't know if I could tell the difference. We'll boil it, put that uh, into our cups after we give it a good uh, 60 second rolling boil, and I'll let it clear in here. And we'll come back to this after we go fishing. Then we'll boil some, and then we'll know for sure if we have more water or how much we got to ration and stuff. At least that's the plan, fish and crabs. Oh. All right, oh, for another paddle. It has been a hot one today. Everything is going slow, it's so hot. Oh. Oh. My shoes are full of dirt. Sand everywhere, I got sand everywhere. Oh, it's miserable. I'm, just, I'm not complaining, mind you. Just explaining. Can't all be sunshine and rainbows and unicorns, right? Sometimes you gotta put up a little sand in your crotch to be able to have some fun. My, my pedals in. There we go. Away with the paddle and away we go. Switch out my poles. Let's see if we can catch something. gonna try and rig up a crab trap while we're working this little area so we gotta stay with inside of it Whoo! I think that's the insides I thought they smelled bad on the outside <laughs> I don't even want to touch that thing all right so got this little frame thing I'm just gonna thread our bait onto there all right, so we'll drop it in. They'll sit like this, crabs come in, chew on this thing, pick it up, and carry them all away. Hopefully they're all over this.
Well, the sun is going down. Action has been slow today. Nothing but these little catfishy things. Sarah nailed the fish, but as soon as we came out of the cove, where things are slower and there's some current out here, maybe that's uh, maybe that's the trick of it. It's kind of fun, and sometimes can be a little frustrating. You come to a new place, you only got just so much time. You got to figure it out. You do some research before you get there. And if you uh, you're lucky, you go with somebody, and uh, you know you learn all kinds of stuff like Hawaii with Ryan or. Greg in the Rockies, you know, it's like Wooded Beardsman Canada, going and having these adventures and learning something new is what it's all about. And this is a pretty sweet spot. Still want my shark though. Catch my shark food. We got something here. Let's see. What do we have? Please tell me it's not another one of those catfishy things. Yep, it is. A couple of them. Oh man. Oh jeez. They are just gonna get everything tangled. You little boogers. There's two. Yep, it's another one. Beautiful fish. Talkative too. Today is the last, last day. This is my last chance at a shark right now. This morning, and then paddling back and fishing our way up to the mangroves to follow the tide. All right, there we go, one of these guys. Fish on. Finally. Oh. Oh. All right. Yes. Woo. Trout. Please be big enough. Please be big enough. Please be big enough. 15 inches with the mouth closed exactly. Woo. Trout for breakfast. Ah. Oh. That was my goal, is to catch a trout. And I caught one. Oh, praise God, I was so discouraged, I have to say. Beautiful fish. Breakfast. Maybe there's more in here. I felt a, a bite before I caught this one. Trout. Spotted trout for breakfast. A lot of bites. Lots of bites. That's more like it. I got a trout! Yes! Yeah! Woo! Oh, I lost him. <laughs> Oh, shark bait. Another one of those again. Man, the fish gets you so slimy. Oh yeah, fish, ah, fish off. <laughs>
Ah, another one. What did I get? Oh, it's another. Oh, oh, that was a big one. Big old ladyfish thingy. Darn. Keep losing those. Ha ha! Another ladyfish. Ah! Ow! Ow! Hey! That thing. Ow! That one got me. All right, all right. That's a bigger one. That's a nice sized one. That'll be good shark bait. Shark bait. Yeah. I'll bury the hook too deeply because I want him to be able to take it and I want to be able to set the hook. So, I might have not. I might have put that too deep. Now, the question is where to put it. Eh, I'll try right here. Never give up. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. There's nothing wrong with a tactical retreat, you know, from uh, too much failing. But just straight up saying, I quit, I give up. If you ever watch the survival shows like Alone that I was on or Naked and Afraid, you always see, and I don't know if it's something that the producers do or it just happens uh, randomly. Like, it's almost like it's a rule of thumb. People say, I can't do this. This is too hard. I can't do this. And you, they'll say it like three times or I'm going to quit, or I can't, I, I, I'm giving up, I'm giving up. You know, they'll say it three different times, and it always ends up on the show like that. And the next thing you know, sure enough, they are down and out. So no matter what you do, don't give up. Maybe a tactical retreat at times, but don't. Give up. And here we are, back to shore. Here we go. Set our bell. I just got back and Sarah says the raccoons got into her water and when I left, I put water in my water bottle and I thought, there's an awful lot of floaties in there. That doesn't look right. Well, they tore their way into our water jug. Fortunately, we've decided with the tides and stuff going back, so we're gonna have to boil our water and, uh, and then fill our jugs all up because our water jugs themselves are ruined. You really got to have like completely raccoon proof everything apparently out here. It is uh, pretty bad. Wow, they really do not like us. They literally crapped on my solar panel. That's, uh, that's great. That looks a lot better pouring it through my rag at least.
That's so good. That's so good right now. There we go. I'm excited. Mmm. That's amazing. That's pretty good. Pretty good. That's like. That's like restaurant quality. Mmm. That coconut. Everything. This is amazing. Mm. But like going over and pooping on the solar panel is like. They just declared war on us. Alright, I'm gonna cut up the fish and get that on. Water is boiling. Pretty rugged teeth. There we go. Not feeling any bones. There's one piece. Put that up too. Back to the sea. Not sharing that with the raccoons. Good size little filet. One for me, one for Sarah. This is the garlic, the peppers, the coconut. Here you go, my dear. Thank you. Little sea trout with lemon. Oh, and some raccoon hand wash coffee. That could become a thing, maybe, right? <laughs> we have to say grace again? Yes. All right. <laughs> Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for the trout that you gave us. In Jesus' name. The coconut's really good in there, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. It almost has like a water chestnut crunch to it. That's what I was thinking too. Oh, did you eat your fish melt? No. The fish sperm. Oh. oh, right there. I don't see where the second one went. Did I give you both? It's good, huh? Mm. It's just like the fish egg. It's like creamy. It's just like the fish egg. There's just like proteiny. Mm. Yeah. This was a lot harder than I thought it would be. It's a little harder and a little easier in some ways. Like, but paddling around, stuff like that, getting around isn't scary and it's very easy. I can't imagine, like, trying to do this in the, the heat of the summer, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. And the bugs. Yeah. And the sun already is just, like... Messing with it. I think that was my favorite meal so far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too. 
All better. Well, it's been fun. But I think it's time to finish our coffee and pack up. We've got two hours, two and a half hours to catch the tide going in. And then we'll be able to cruise right in and and be back almost as fast as we came out. Alright, got my wazoo belt, my survival kit stuff. I think I'm gonna use some of my pellets here. So we boiled the water, but it still looks gross. And I just not feeling the getting sick. So I got some of these pellets that come in the wazoo belt survival kit stuff. They look like just little aspirins, but uh, obviously not little aspirins. Put that in there, and then pour some of the water in them. I mean, technically it says four hours, but we did boil it, so anything that helps it do its thing, it'll be better than it was. And pour off the muddy stuff that was on the bottom. Here we go. Pills all fizzed up. I'll leave this in the dark underneath the in the bilge of the boat. And uh, if we're really thirsty in like two hours, we'll get into that. And then we'll have about two more hours of paddling and then we'll be back. So that should give us a drink about the halfway point where we really need it. And maybe, t uh, I wonder about putting some lemon into it. Didn't even get a chance to try the gypsy well out, so I don't know what that was like. Just boiling this and getting ourselves home is all we're gonna need. Homeward bound. A wee bit choppy. Nothing to it but keep going. Let's catch some fishes. They are delicious. Or maybe we just let them go since we're on our way home. Oh! Oh, I got a little, what were these, jacks? A little fish. Hee hoo! There we go, another one on the board. Okay, okay, I'm putting you back. Bye-bye! Thanks for playing. Ah, oh, that would have been perfect shark bait. Carvel Jack. There we go. This island is kind of small. I think we just saw the tour boat going up in. 
so we don't have much ways to go to get back into the channel. That was a lot faster than coming around all that chop. Oh, we didn't do slingshot shooting. We should have shot the slingshot like, oh, we got to teach you how to protect yourself from the raccoons. Shoot some slingshots. I can feel my ear tips. <laughs> Hello! We finally made it to the channel entrance. About two thirds of the way, two thirds, not three thirds, two thirds of the way home. It's been a long slog. I think it's, it's been, it's been somewhere over three and a half, four hours of paddling, pedaling. Best fish of the trip, right here. Come on, don't lose it. Holy cow. Peel and drag. This has got to be huge. Come on. Wow. Oh my goodness. Come on, don't lose him. Whew. This is the biggest fish bite I've ever had in my life right here, I think. This is... Oh my goodness. Whew. Come on, oh there he is. Whoa. What is this? Ah! There we go. Woo! That's a nice fish. Right there. Look at the size of that thing. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Do these things taste good? I don't. Ah, we're done. Oh, I want to eat it. You want to eat it? Ow! All right, Sarah wants to eat it. That was pretty, good. That was pretty cool, huh? Yeah. That was quite the fight. That has to be the biggest fish I have uh, ever fought, I think. Well, I don't know, he because he has so much surface to him or something. He just fought so much more. Woo! Then, uh, oh my goodness. I don't even know how to dispatch him, he's so big. All right, that was pretty awesome. That was good. There it is, home sweet home, just off in the distance. We're almost there. We're just burning a million calories. Put it on the map here how far we went. Holy cannolis. Oy vey, that was quite the paddle. Pedal paddle. I feel pretty good. All that working out since the new year has really been paying off. I don't think I could have done this, you know, at uh, Christmas time. We had a blast. This is so much fun and so doable. I'm laughing to myself a little bit here before I turn the camera on. These waves are a little bit choppy and, and rolling and when we first pulled out, it was like this. And we're coming across, water splashing onto the kayaks, and we were like, oh, oh. And then after today, we were like super choppy and getting tossed all over the place and like, no worries, just push on. Just something you gotta get through. I think of it kind of like a, uh, a parable, a story of, of uh, you know, when you first start out, and you take on little adventures and you take on bigger and bigger adventures as life goes on if you choose to grow and you want to develop as a 
you know, a man or a woman with experiences, something to be proud of. You know, you need to push through and try harder things and see what you're capable of. In some ways, this one almost makes me feel like more of an adventurer than any of the other stuff I've done. It's such a spooky, mythical place when people do little videos on and talk about it, write in books about the Everglades and how people were lost in here and hid in here and were trapped in here and, you know, pirates hid their booty in here and now the Native Americans hid in here for the longest time had secret colonies and secret places and how undiscovered this was and, and how uncharted this was up until, I don't know, what, uh, 150 years ago? I think this is an adventure I'm gonna have to come back to each year, explore a little further, dig in a little deeper, get a little bit better at the fishing, get a little bit better at finding uh, wild foods and wild plants. I didn't catch my shark. So at the very least, I gotta come back one more time. And there's land. Lord, thank you for the jack. Thank you for the adventure. Bless this food for our body and our making it home safe on our flight. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so we looked up jack and they said it's uh, better if you use it for shark fishing. But some people did do some stuff with it, like soak it in milk for, um, you know, 20, 48 hours, something like that. And other people were like, oh, it's just fine, go for it. So here we go. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. It could just be chicken. It's got a good, it doesn't even really have a fishy flavor with the curry and the peppers and the, you know, and stuff. It, the only thing I feel like it's lacking now is it should be over something lighter because we made it so greasy. Some rice. Yeah, if we put and it the over, good. the flavor is great. 
what, what we have so the red stuff was a pepper mm -hmm. but not a hot pepper just a flavor red pepper so like kind of like a black pepper but mm -hmm. red and uh we should have tried a piece without all the seasoning just to see i know yeah we're gonna give uh the rest of that to a shark fisherman over here and uh he'll, hopefully he'll be able to catch a shark with it because we don't have time to catch that shark so we'll just have to come back next time Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Fowler and my girl Sarah. Out. I just want a little more. Get your own. Uh oh. That's peppery. It's like when you eat Thai food and there's the hot peppers in it and stuff, and you like eat it and eat it, and then all of a sudden you're done. You're like, yeah. But like you, get, you gotta eat more just to keep it, and then.